Three, two, one. What's going on guys? It is hammer time and we have the cyber hammer that just came in literally like 30 minutes ago and we're about to unpack it, hit some stuff and show you why this is pretty freaking awesome. So first of all, just a quick history, you guys probably already know, but back when they first revealed the Cybertruck, um, Franz, who is the designer of this car, hit it with a sledgehammer and hit the door with it. <laughs> and then after he hit it, he threw the ball. And that actually cracked the window twice. <laughs> so now they actually made a limited run, which you can get by um, using 35,000 of your referral points, and then you could get this hammer. And it's already selling on eBay for quite a bit, but we were lucky that we had the points. Thank you for everybody who used a referral points, a referral link. And this is one of 800 that they've made. So let's go ahead, super excited, and open this up. So first off, when we got the box, we knew it was a hammer, because it is heavy, okay? So the box says Cyber Hammer, right here. This is Tesla, Tesla, and then right here, it has the standard Cyber Hammer, Tesla logo made on Earth by humans. So very, very simple packaging, I like it. And then let's go ahead and open it up. And then once you open it up, really simple packaging, but you get your certificate of authenticity right away. And this one says that this is 29 of 800. So really surprised that we got one of the earlier ones. So this is super awesome. And then right away, you see the matte black hammer. This is heavy with this bubble wrap. Oh wait, this thing already came off, but this is, this one's here. <laughs> this is what it looks like, guys. So it's about, and I'll do all the measurements and all that stuff. There's like a rubber plate right here at the bottom. It has, um, this is made out of steel. It has the Cyber logo on both sides. And then you get a laser etching of Franz's signature. So that's really, really cool. It is pretty freaking heavy. So we are going to weigh it as well. And then right here says gym use only. Do not strike hard surfaces. So I guess this is what it's supposed to be used for. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and put this away. I'm going to keep this in a nice box. I'll keep this box just in case. But let's go ahead and measure this. So first off, uh, since we're in US, we'll do it in inches for you guys. And this is about 31 inches long. And the hammer, the sledgehammer itself is about um, six and a quarter. Okay, and obviously the weight is all ac across the top here. It is top heavy. And then as far as how much it weighs, we have a scale right here. All right, so it weighs about 11.8 pounds. That's not bad. Let me just double check that it is right. Yeah, 11.8 pounds. That's pretty heavy, I think. Okay, so. Now that we have this, I know it says don't hit hard surfaces. I wonder if they're talking about the Cybertruck behind me. So I got this plastic film off the, the hammer itself. And the only reason why we got this is so we can do this. Before we do that though, please click on that subscribe button. And I don't know if we're actually going to do that yet because we have a lot of work to do. And if we're going to do it, maybe do the back door. But before we do that, I think we should actually test it on something else that doesn't cost as much as the Cybertruck did. So we have a pallet outside right there waiting for us, waiting to be destroyed. And we're going to see how hefty this thing is. Now I need to work out with this thing because it's getting tired holding this thing. So let's go outside and break this pallet. <laughs> I put very, very little effort into smashing this pallet. Breaks it so easy. Um, felt a little bit wrong hitting it, but we got this hammer just to do this. So, I mean, it's all good. But having done that, I don't know if I want to hit this, this truck with this thing. Maybe we'll like gently tap it. I don't know, let's go. Oh, that hurts. I don't want to do that. Three, two, one. I'm just kidding, I can't do it, I, can't, I just can't. But, friends already did it, so I don't have to do it. And it, it clearly says not to do it on 
hard surfaces, so that's why we're not doing it. Um, forgot my, about my safety glasses, so if you were going to do that, make sure you're wearing glasses. I just had it right here and I totally forgot about it. But that was a lot of fun. I definitely damaged it a little bit, but I feel like these are some love marks. Maybe, maybe I can clean it with like an interior glass cleaner or something, I don't know. Steel cleaner. Just see if I can clean it. Yeah, it comes off. For the most part. There's some love marks, but but now this is cool. I tried to like protect the actual signature, so there's not really much damage there. That's pretty much it. This is a cyber hammer. Let us know what you think. Please click on that subscribe button. If you want us to hit more stuff, let us know in the comments below. What should we hit next? Don't say the cyber truck. I don't think I'm gonna do it. But we'll see you later.